Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to teach you how to craft and how to use the Ancient Gardener. Now, this should automate your crops and water them for you. So, we're going to check out the radius of it, how expensive it is, and how like efficient it actually is. Is it worth at the price? I think it probably will be. Now, if you guys do enjoy this video at all, please be sure to smash that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and if you want some videos and guides on the other two ancient machines, like the auto cooker right here and the ancient vacuum right here, which in my opinion is the best thing they have ever added, be sure to check out the videos in the description of this one. You don't want to miss them. These are some incredible items. All right, so the first thing you need to do, like the other ancient things, you have to come over here and you have to go to the time bending table. Just finish uh, or start working on Jafar's quest line. He will take you to a point where he automatically gives you this and you have access to one of these. So just keep talking to Jafar via the holograms until you get to this point. He will also give you one for free. You can place it wherever you want. But once you get the time bending table, you need to come up here to hourglass and you're going to have to upgrade it to level one. So your little staff here, you need to get it to level one. It's going to cost you 5,000 of the mist the mist is the little dreamlight currency that you get so it's the same as a dreamlight over on dreamlight valley but over here it is called mist and it's something you'll have to grind out that will unlock some um ancient machines which you will then craft over here at the ancient machine tab so we're gonna click on that there's the ancient cooker the gardener and the vacuum i've covered both of these already now we're going to cover the ancient gardener you need 2000 mist and you need two level one ancient cores to get this you have to have your hourglass at level one it's going to unlock the ancient cores in the loot pool for treasure hunting so all you have to do is go around the valley search for treasure and then if you're super lucky you get a rare find you will actually get the ancient core you need two of these and then you also need um ancient gears and ancient pipe as you see how many i actually have of the gear and the pipe already compared to just now getting two ancient cores it takes a lot of digging up treasure to be able to get this but let's go ahead and craft one of these ancient gardeners and see how it actually works and after crafting it you do get some more of the little mist and resources so make sure you claim that and unfortunately it is raining in my valley but let's see if we can still test it out let's go over to my forest of valor because i think i have the most room over there okay so to pull out your ancient gardener you need to go over to utilities and we're just going to scroll down and it's going to be right here so let's go ahead and place it down and that looked like that might have been the entire area. So let's go ahead and check it out. It says for the gardener to work, it needs to be set up on land where crops can grow. It says plant seeds or harvest crops with a single action. It costs the mist. All right, so we're going to hit OK. And it says no holes near this machine to plant. And so it's because I don't have anything at all. So let's go ahead and hit OK. Uh, gardening spots it's a total of 15 i can go ahead and dig it myself or i can hit dig right here and it's going to dig it for me automatically that is actually really really cool it's very small though it's a very small place so it's completely empty if i go up here we have 15 spots now i can select a seed so let's do the bell peppers and i can plant 15 of them for 150 and it's going to automatically water them. Now, it is raining in my valley. I, I can't get it to stop raining. It does it for hours. But even if it wasn't raining, it would water these crops automatically like we just saw. So this thing is actually really cool. And then we could go ahead and craft more and more. So it looks like you can only select one type of seed for now. So then I could switch it to this. And I already have those gardening spots of dug, so I wouldn't have to spend any more mist to do that. But even if I didn't have mist, like I could just dig up these spots myself. And it looks like it's just 15 spots. So whenever you place it down, you would dig three this way, and then three this way, and then four, and then four, and then fill in the uh, middle. So you have a total of 15 slots. So this thing's actually really, really cool. Now you can upgrade this and when you do, it's gonna make it bigger. So I don't know, the next upgrade could be 30 uh, spaces. It could be 60, it could be, you know, 50, but there are two more tiers to it. And we are gonna go check that out now. Now, let me see if what happens if I pick it up. 
So it does not wait. Hold up. Hold up. It allows you to pick it up and move it. Oh my gosh. So I could potentially do this again. Yeah, I could dig up another 15 spots. And then I could go and pick a different seed if I want. So we're going to do... Yeah, we'll just do that again. It could be something different. But I would select the seed. And then we would plant it for another 150. And it automatically planted it. Now, the thing is though, it will not water these over here. Because I did move the gardener. So these, after they get done being watered. Or they need to be watered again. They are not going to water themselves. Even though we planted it with the gardener. You have to have one of these attached to the little garden there. So you can pick it up and move. This may be a better way of planting stuff faster. If you're just not feeling it. And you just want to keep picking this up and planting it. Especially once you get the larger one. Like the tier 2 or tier 3 and it's bigger. It may be a better way because then you won't have to dig up spaces. You can then just go and spend mist and do that. Because getting mist is a lot easier. Especially after you unlock everything. Now it did finally stop raining in my valley. So we're going to try this again. We are going to pick this up. We're going to move it over here by itself. And now I'm going to go ahead and have it dig some spots for me. So we're going to have it dig 15. There we go. And then we're going to plant the same thing. We're going to plant some of these. So plant 15 of them for 150. It's not watered, but now look at it. It is watering them on its own. Imagine how cool this is going to be when we get the higher tier levels and you can make a massive garden. And sometimes these smaller ones might be better if you just want to have like one for pumpkins, like a small little patch here that's always going to water. That's the thing. It's going to be watering these. All you have to do is go up here. And originally plant the seeds and then it's going to water them for you and it's going to keep them watered until they are fully grown. So definitely a very cool feature. I'm really happy they started adding automation into the game. Now if you thought we were done with the auto gardener you would be wrong. This actually has one more incredible feature. So as you see this one is finally completed. It is all fully grown. Now if we go over here. You can hit harvest for free. It automatically collected everything from the garden. We did not have to spend any mist to collect it. Just to uh, start it up. So you would just go back in here. Plant. And it automatically waters it. So if you get a bunch of these. You would literally just walk up here. Hit plant. Go to your next one. Hit plant. Go to your next one. Hit plant. And it's really not that bad. Because keep in mind. The upgraded tiers are going to be massive. And I will have videos for those coming up later on. As soon as I unlock them. But this will definitely be something to get you started. The fact that we could just automatically collect them. We are now going to be able to generate so much money. With pumpkins and pumpkin puffs. And I can't wait. These are a, an absolute must get item. As soon as you guys possibly can. So back at the time bending table. We're going to go over here. Here. Um, as you see, these are all the basic versions. We're going to go to upgrade hourglass and then I can upgrade this for 10,000. And I just unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. And then as you see, this is almost full because there are only three levels to the hourglass. And then I will be able to get the advanced one um, for the gardener, cooker, all that stuff. And then we have a bunch of new items here that we can collect. But let's take a look at the second wave of them. So we have the regular Ancient Gardener here. It's going to take Ancient Core level 2, which I just now unlocked after leveling this up for 2. So now I will be able to find Ancient Core level 2s along with the Ancient level 1. But unfortunately, you will also need a basic Ancient Gardener. So I would have to pick up the one I just placed down and keep it in my inventory to upgrade it to level 2. It's not going to allow you to just keep the first one and then craft a second one. But the regular version, you're actually just going to have to upgrade it. And then when we get to tier 3, you'll have to upgrade it again. So um, yeah, definitely an interesting way of them doing it. I can't click on and see how it is. But I will be making an advan advanced guide later on with all of these together in one video so we can check it out but i wanted to at least post something to get you guys started and you know what to ex expect because this stuff is very expensive and now you guys will be able to determine if you want to get the vacuum first the gardener first or if you want to grind for the ancient cooker now i really do appreciate you guys so so much for watching the video it means a lot to me um i hope you guys are doing very well out here on eternity isle and i'll see you guys in the next one